My name is Rowena Crow. I'm a filmmaker and animator who came to the National Film and Sound Archive as a SAR Research Fellow in February 2012. My project is called What Love Sounded Like. This is Lloyd Whiteman speaking from San Francisco. Uh, I received a very nice letter from you a couple of days ago, Moy, and I thought that perhaps it would be a little different if I returned it in this form rather than by pen and ink and on paper. Away, haven't I? I thought I was going to be absolutely terrified of this thing as I find myself rambling on and on and on and on. And I haven't been looking at the tape, just fast disappearing. I'm at the National Film and Sound Archive looking for audio letters, which will become the backbone for a short animation series. I'm at an early stage, and before I even start drawing, I must find the actual audio that will become the backbone for my project. Um, Rowena's asked me to find her something. Shelf one. Although the archive is mostly archiving published films, they do have a collection of domestic recordings. 269. Okay, 268. Let's see if we can see. Regional recording from Wally Simpson to Reg Southie. That's it? That's the one. Can I ask what it's all about? So it was recorded in 1951 at the Festival of Britain, which mm -hmm. was this festival to invigorate the British economy after the Second World War. Okay. And uh, they had these little portable booths in there where um, you could record a short message to someone and then send it to them like a okay. postcard. Oh. This is a personal recording from Wally Simpson to Reg Southey. The record is being made at the Battersea Fun Fair in the HMV Pavilion where they have set up a portable uh, disc recorder so that visitors may make a sound souvenir of their visit. It occurs to me that the idea is one which we may be able to put over at the Royal Easter Show. I find this recording interesting as it clearly sets the scene of the recording booth and there is something in the man's accent that is nostalgic to me. As I hear the different accents recorded over the last hundred years, it occurs to me that this could be a story in itself. Uh, currently we're going to digitize a brown wax cylinder. Brown wax cylinders were the first cylinders to, to come on commercial market. Uh, very fragile and uh, this one would be at least 100 and possibly 5 to 110 years old. Um, it's a home recording of an Australian woman, possibly her daughter, and what sounds like a baby. <laughs> The early recordings are quite playful and performative. In a lot of the recordings from the 1940s, people commonly pretend to be radio announcers and will record and play music, send well wishes and recite poems. I came up because I wanted to make a recording for Australia and tell you a little bit about what has been going on since I have last seen. The more the technology became more affordable and the more people were separated because of wars or travel becoming cheaper, the more intimate and personal the recordings become. A highlight of my time at the National Film and Sound Archive was coming across Howard's homemade recordings. Howard made his own recordings by mixing a solution of lacquer onto aluminium discs and cutting records with his own equipment. We had strife with the S's and the crystal microphone. Now we're giving it treble boost and bass cut to see how the S's go. Howard would often work in partnership with his brother Bruce. Howard would often record and Bruce interview. Uh, Grandad, we were talking about the um, Pat's Taste Acts in England. Could you tell us or uh, describe a little bit about how they do it? Whoever's going to touch the stack, he makes sure that it's well built and well finished. Keep the such even all round. Here's one of my favourite recordings. It is very simple and I love it for that. I can imagine a very simple animation to go with it, where the phone is passed from one family to another. Hello? Is that your boss? This is Howard here. How are you, boss? Howard? 
Get out of here. Yes, here's Mum now. Here you are. Come on, boys. Oh, this is a lovely joy to us all, boys. I hope you, hope you haven't got up with any of those young ladies over there yet. Here's Jill. But where to for now for my self-funded project? I'm looking for funding and I want to take the project to the international arena where I think it belongs. Although I found some very good recordings at the National Film and Sound Archive, I'm looking for more. If you have any recordings you think will be interesting for the project, please contact me, rowena at jkledit.com.